Good morning, students. Welcome back to our next session of the computer class of Bharat Education Society, Kartika High School and Junior College. Today we are going to start with our fourth lesson, the fourth chapter, and the chapter name is Editing Techniques in Word. Today in this chapter, we are going to learn how to edit in the document. Microsoft Word is a very popular word processing software as it allows the user to edit a document. Editing means making changes in the document. Cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, find. Replace and select all are the important editing options available in Word. To make changes in a document, you have to select the text. Hence, we shall first learn how to select the text. Now, we will learn how to select a word. Then, we will learn how to select a line. And then later we will learn how to select a large area of the text. Now to select a word, double click the left mouse button on the word to select it. Or click the left mouse button and drag through the word to select it. In simple words, if I have to select the word Rahul, what will I do is I will place the cursor on the word Rahul and double click the left side of the mouse button. Automatically the Rahul word will get selected. The other way of selecting is place the cursor on the starting letter of the word. Place the cursor on the starting letter of the word then press the left mouse button and drag it till the word where till where you want to select it this way these these two types are there where you can select a word later to select a line press and hold the control key and click the mouse button anywhere on the line to select This is the image of the keyboard. It has two control button. You can see it. Now, to select a line, you have to press and hold the control button and with other hand, click on the line you want to select with the left side of the mouse button. You can see in the image, person selecting the, clicking on the left side of the mouse button. To select all the text or to select the complete text, click anywhere in the document. Go to Home tab and click on the Select button in the Editing group and choose the Select option or press Ctrl plus A. In simple word, please see the image. In the image, in the extreme right, there is the editing group. In the editing group, click on the select option. A drop down menu will appear. Now select all option. In the other way of selecting all the text is you have to press and hold the control key of your keyboard and press A button. The text will get selected. To deselect all the text, click anywhere on the selected text to get to deselect it. The other in the simple word, if you want to deselect the text, click anywhere on the text and it will get deselected. Now we shall learn 
how to insert text when we read a document we have typed earlier we sometimes want to insert or put in an extra word or sentence you can insert any words or sentence between the text you have already typed for this position the insertion point where you want to insert the new text and click to bring the cursor there now start typing the use of insert key on the keyboard also helps to insert text please see the image you can see the cursor is called the insertion point you can see how it looks like to delete text you can correct your typing errors by deleting what was typed wrong place the insertion point on the first character to be deleted and click to bring the cursor there press the delete key as often as you need to you could also select the portion to be deleted and then press the delete key the backspace key two can be used for deleting text please note the backspace key deletes the text to the left of the insertion point while the delete key deletes the text to the right of the insertion point in simple words when you press the delete key the words gets deleted from the right side of the cursor when you press the backspace key the text or the words gets deleted from the left side of the cursor to move text you can move text from one position in a document to another using the cut and paste features of word to do this first select the text second click the cut button on the home tab third position the insertion point to where you want to move the text and last click on the paste button to copy text the copy command is used to create a duplicate of the selected text you can then use the paste command to insert the copied text at the desired location to do this select the text you want to copy click on the copy button on the home tab position the insertion point where you wish the text to be pasted and then click on the paste button editing document using thesaurus the thesaurus option is used to find the synonym of the selected word how to use thesaurus first right click the word for which you want to find a synonym for in your document from the pop up menu choose the synonymous sub menu to see a list of words with a similar meaning the synonyms sub menu displays a list of synonyms for the word you choose you can see it in the image now let me explain to you in a very simple word now what is synonym synonym means similar meaning for that particular word and now how can we use this option first thing is that look out for the word difficult word for which you find that it should be written in a simple word or it should be having the the word should have the same meaning but the word should be very simple and understandable so what you can do is select the difficult word by double clicking on the word and then right click on the mouse 
and a pop-up menu will appear as you right click on the mouse you can see it in the image it has options in that options you can see synonyms when you take the cursor on the synonym it will again give you a sub menu that is called a small pop-up which has the meanings of that word you can see it in the image and from this you can select that word whichever you feel is feasible or equivalent you can select the word and the word will get changed this is how you can edit a document by using synonyms next is inserting date and time in a word document you can insert the date and time it displays the current date and time follow the steps given below to insert date and time first select the place where you want to insert the date click on the insert tab select quick parts from the text group you can see in the image from the pop up menu select the field menu select the date and time category from the categories as you open category this is the thing which is displayed then time you want to display select the format from the right pane of the field properties windows or click on date and time button from the text group and select the appropriate format okay student here we end with our uh, session for this class we will surely meet up in our next class in our next video the second part of the fourth lesson till then be safe be happy be home thanks